So what were some of the uh, key messages and key takeaways uh, from the conference this year? Well, the two points that really need to be considered were one, inflation, and secondly, unemployment. And the uh, I think everyone, it was a little underwhelming in actual fact, and I think that probably didn't take anyone by surprise because we're, uh, the, the, the marketplace is very much centred on when is this tapering going to start? And they're looking towards the end of the year at the current stage. So that's the general consensus. And remembering that we've got 5 million unemployed in the States, we have a, we wait for an, a monthly figure as far as the true read, as far as non-farm payrolls, and that's released on the first Friday of each month. And that's till the middle of the month prior. So the middle, or the middle of the month prior, so the, the middle of August, those numbers will be shown to the market this Friday. And we're expecting about 763,000 jobs um, to be the raw number, uh, which will be released this Friday. So we're getting closer to soaking up that uh, unemployment number. And we've also got to take into consideration, guys, that there's two and a half million approximate Americans that have retired. So that five million number as far as full employment could be closer to two and a half million. Uh, actually looking for full employment roles. So there's the first part. The second part is inflation. And they're saying that uh, the inflation target of 2% of the average of it has pretty much been met. So there's the story. And that's why we're only a matter of, you know, three months away, I would assume, until they start taking some of that taper off the table. So, Peter, on the point of uh, tapering, you mentioned that the Fed is buying $120 billion uh, worth of bonds a, mo a month to sort of support yes. support uh, the financial markets. Um, from what yes. I was reading about the symposium, there's, uh, there's a, I guess, a bigger split um, in the Fed's ranks. There's hawks on one side who want to taper quickly, uh, and then, I guess, yes. doves on the other side that are not uh, as keen. I guess, can you uh, add some colour? What's the, I guess, what's the division between those two? Are there more hawks or are there more doves? And where does the Fed, from a, a like overall policy level, where what side are they leaning towards? Well, I, I think the, the most important part at the moment is that everyone's got their own opinion, uh, because this is spread out across the United States, that every every member has their own opinion as far as COVID and what crises they are now facing and could be facing over the next few months. So that interpretation is very, this is very dynamic and fluid because it's not a normal year in any of those characteristics. So this is an unknown, unknown sort of feel. Now, as you mentioned, the hawks and the doves, again, different people have at, at different times over the last six months have had different uh, viewpoints. And so that really needs to be also considered. So at the present time, I've got to say that it's looking, a general consensus would be, again, towards the end of the year to um, pull some of that taper off the table. And as long as there are no surprises. And I haven't lived through a pandemic before, but I, the, by the last, all I know is that the last year has shown much uncertainty, both domestically and internationally. And no one is for certain that that will actually take place at the end of the year. 